Tower is what you can use to take your web app, so your front end app, and then use on a desktop. So instead of the browser, you're, you now can access the local resources if you want it to. Okay? So it's like an Electron, but not a Chromium browser. So instead of, instead of shipping a whole browser, you just use the web view in the underlying system, which is what this is about. And it uses Rust to do that. So if you want to do some backend stuff, it'll be in Rust. Anyways, let's get started. We just go integrate with Tauri. Nope. We got to do setup for Windows. <clears throat> so the first thing you'll need is to install these Microsoft Visual Studio C++ build tools. Go here, build it. Or if you already have Visual Studio 2022, you're good. And I already have it. And anyways, build that and do not go grab a coffee because you want to do this other stuff. So while that's downloading and installing, you want to have Node.js installed. And uh, this is, if you already have Node.js, you don't really need to worry about this. This is only if you don't have Node.js, you should do it this way. I remember to <laughs> run your, run it in administrative mode when you're doing this stuff after you install NBM. <laughs> now Yarn is already pre-installed, so you don't have to worry about that. Rust C, and by worry about that, I mean worry about installing it. Rust C and Cargo Package Manager, so yeah, install Rust. Pretty sure you guys already have Rust installed because you only found out about Tauri through Rust. I didn't really find out about Tauri. I don't think you'd find out about Tauri from the front end side, but even though they act like you'd find it through the front end side. In the web view too, the first time I actually read this as Windows 10, not 11, and I did not install it. So only install this if things don't work, which they do work for me. So yeah, because I already have in Edge installed. It's installed by default, so I don't really get why it wouldn't be installed. Anyways, let's go to Integrate with Tauri. Now, what they recommend is starting a new Tauri project. No, this is if you're a noob and you don't know JavaScript or anything about JavaScript. Then you do this because then you, all you have is an index.html and you can do whatever you want. A static, a website that runs on a desktop app. So we'll scroll down here and this is what you need. Add Tauri to existing project. So CD into the project folder and then we add it. But now you're saying, wait a second, we don't have a project folder. So what you want to do is create a project folder. And I've called it R2D2. And I'm using React. And I'm going to be using the React JS. So what we want to do is create React app. <laughs> OK. So we run that. And since we're already in the project folder, we do dot. So after we do that. We actually want to add, we want to go through with this, but don't just copy this. We actually need some other stuff because if you know anything about React, okay, so I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So if we start the React app, it'll take some time, but what happens is what happens is that I'll show you guys as soon as there you go. See the browser opens up. So when we're using Tauri, we don't want the browser to open up because it'll open up the desktop app. So anyways, we go here and we want to install the cross end thing and the CLI and we can skip this because it'll just be done here. So we've done this and we've added these dev dependencies. And the next thing we want to do is add resolutions so that the React app doesn't break. And what I mean by this is look at this, it'll break or it should break because 
this did not get resolved yet. But yeah. There you go, see? It didn't install. So it broke and that's what I had trouble for an hour. Not fun, man, not fun at all. And if we build it, it it'll work. So I'm not gonna, see, it, it works. So we just do that and we don't care about finishing it. Anyways, I think I forgot to mention why we need this thing. And I'll show you as soon as I initialize the app, but Linerva is the name of my company. Now for the assets, it's in source or hold up. It could be in build. So we'll come back to that actually. And you know what? We'll come back to it right now. We don't want to forget about it, you know what I mean? So we see, here we go. We install the API thing. But let me just, let me just squeeze that in really quickly. A anyways, as I was saying, cross end, okay? So we need it because we need, we don't want to open the browser. So what we do is we run yarn cross end. And then we need to set browser to none. And after that, we can continue with yarn start. Now the same way, before we build, we need to say yarn build. And what yarn build will do is, you'll see here, the build is being built over here. So if we do yarn build right now, just so it can be cached later on, we can see something there. But as that's building, we can continue on our journey. I'll skip this because I think things are working now. So all we do is run yarn tarry dev and anyways, here we go. Here's the stuff and that's pretty good. And one more thing, right? We want to do this. This is the so I'm just going to do this and then I'm going to call it a day. It even made the installer for me. How awesome is that? Where is this? Release. Okay, target release. So start target release. R2T2, bro. <laughs> R2T2. Man, I am. Oh, and it has an icon as well. R2T2. Yo, look at that. Look at that. So there you go. There's getting started with Tauri. I hope I covered everything and now you can just focus on the code. I had a lot of difficulties getting to this point, but I hope you guys have had the smoothest ride ever and don't have to think about the problems I encountered because I've encountered a lot. So yeah, see ya.